it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and today I have a new kind of a different video that I'm calling What's in the Bag? I'm going to share with you the different bags that I use on a regular basis, what's inside, why I like them, and give you a few tips and pointers. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And now let's get started looking at what's in the bags. Okay, so the first bag I'm gonna share with you is just my simple project bag. I love this bag. I will link the pattern information where you can get the pattern um, in my blog post. But this is called a project bag and the pattern actually has several different sizes. I love this bag because it has a nice, easy zipper it has a vinyl front and I can keep projects in here ready to go and work on. Another thing I do is I love the handle because I can slip it over the edge of a hanger, hang it in a closet, and always be able to flip through my bags. So this, this is one of my favorite bags that I use and make all the time in all different sizes. Another bag that I'm gonna share you, and I'll also link this pattern, is my binding clip bag. I started doing this a couple years ago and I just love it. Inside this bag, I keep my clover binding clips that I use when I bind all of my quilts. And also inside this bag, I keep a little pair of scissors. I keep a tube of binding needles. I keep a spool of thread. And I also have a couple of the jumbo wonder clips just in case I need them. But anyway, I keep this all together and whenever I have to bind a quilt, I just grab this bag, grab my quilt. If I need a different color thread, I'll take that too. But it's, it's just so easy to be able to take this out, sit in a chair, watch TV, and work on a quilt binding. Okay, I have two more bags I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna get really into detail with them. I'm gonna put them down on the table and take out every item that I have inside to show you what's inside and how I use it. Okay, so the next bag I wanna show you is my Sew Together bag. And this is kind of like the Mary Poppins of bags. It holds everything I need when I go to a sewing retreat or when I go to a class, whether I'm teaching or taking the class. It's just a great bag. In fact, I love this bag so much, I just made a new one with our Harper's Garden fabrics. Um, one thing I do that's a little bit different from the pattern, and I will link the pattern and everything that's inside of it on the blog post. Um, but I use a double slide zipper. Makes it to where I can just open the whole bag at once without having to reach all the way over to one side. So let's just start and I'll show you what I keep in the bag. In the back of the bag, I keep a couple pair of scissors. One pair that I don't mind using on paper and another pair of snips that is really sharp for uh, fabric. So it's really important to have the paper scissors and the fabric scissors. The next section of my bag is marking tools. And so I've got a sew line glue pencil. I've got my favorite sew, my, sew line pencil. I've got some extra leads. I've got a pen. And I also keep a little paintbrush in this section of the bag. This is in case I'm doing some applique and I'm using spray starch. It's just really good to have with me whenever I go to any type of class. Okay, the next little section of the bag, I keep my rotary cutter. And I've also got some alpha bitties in there. These are a great little product when you're doing a quilt that has different pieces with letters and numbers and you're trying to keep track of all the pieces. These little, these little um, plastic squares can help you label and organize everything. And I usually attach them to the fabric with some wonder clips that I keep in my binding bag. Okay, the next section of the bag, I've got kind of a pins and needles section. So I've got little applique pins. I've got some little house regular pins and a tin. I've got extra sewing machine needles. I have straw needles in size nine and 11. 
for hand stitching. And I have a couple rulers in here too. This one I learned about from a friend on a retreat last summer. It's a container store tape measure. It is great to have in the bag because it's super long and it can help when you're working on bindings on a quilt. I have a two and a half by six and a half inch ruler, which is just great to have. And I have a one and a half by six and a half inch ruler. And then I also have my little Omni Grid half inch ruler. And you've probably seen me use this if you've watched my half square triangle or my quarter square triangle videos. This little, little ruler is absolutely helpful and comes in three different sizes, but I keep the smallest size in my sewing bag so that I always have one with me. Okay, moving on to the next section of the bag. And don't forget, I'll link all of these products in the blog post. So the next section of the bag, I've got my favorite seam ripper, my Clover seam ripper. I've got that purple thing tool, which um, is great for poking out corners when you're sewing a bag or when you're making Dresden plate blocks. You'll see me using this tool in my Dresden plate video. I've also got a little seam fix tool that has this little rubber, rubberized end that is supposed to help um, pick up the lint when you're um, ripping something out and there's little tiny pieces of thread. I keep a few wonder clips in my bag just in case. I do usually have that binding bag with me that I showed earlier at all times, but I do keep a few binding clips in here. Okay, we're, we're getting to the end. Next section. I always keep an extra rotary blade in my bag. I've got um, a little needle pack with a couple other different sizes of needles. I've got a brand new spool of thread, just in case. You never know what you're going to need it for. Um, I've got some floss, a little spool of neutral floss. I've got a stiletto. I've also got the clover stiletto, and this helps when you just need a tool to help you um, kind of control your fabric when you're putting it under the sewing machine. So I keep the stiletto in there. Two more things. I've got this little mini screwdriver. I've used it a few times, given it to friends a couple times. And some chapstick. You always need chapstick at a quilting retreat. So that's what I keep in my sew together bag. I rarely need anything else. You can see that it's it's just like a Mary Poppins type bag. Just holds almost everything. It has several different zippered pockets. Oh, thimble. And that's what's in the Sew Together bag. Okay, I've just got one more bag to show you. And this is my English paper piecing bag. Um, it's actually two bags, you'll see in just a minute, I, uh, and I'll link the pattern again. But I, I've got them together because the bigger size, I'm able to put a small rotary mat and a bigger ruler that I like to use. So I keep these in this bigger bag, and my little smaller paper piecing kit fits inside of it. And additionally, if I'm on a quilt retreat and I come home with more than I went with, I can put some things in these bags and store them separately. So let me show you what I have in my English paper piecing kit. Um, I've got lots of hexagons that are pre-cut and ready to use with the little paper templates. So, and if you want to know more about this, I actually have a video where I show you how I make my hexagons. But this, this is the kit that keeps it all together for me. So I've got pre-cut, hexagons, I've got pre-cut papers, a little ruler just in case, a rotary cutter just in case. I keep mini charm packs in here because they are perfect for working with the little hexagons. Um, I've also got a pair of scissors and I'm actually going to get another pair of these and stick inside my sew together bag that I showed you earlier. I love it. it. You can wear the cord around your neck, and then you always have access to a really great pair of scissors. Um, I've got some threads in here, a white and a cream. 
I've got a little pin cushion with some pins in it, um, a mini little pair of scissors that can go through the airport um, TSA. Um, this won't go through TSA, but this little pair will. So if I'm flying, I'll, I'll take this out. Uh, I got some a little tube of needles, more mini charm packs, and extra paper pieces. So I've got the paper pieces in the small size that I've been working on, and I've got paper pieces in the bigger size. Um, another pair of scissors and even more needles. So anyway, I like to have all this when I travel. Um, all of these items are super helpful when I'm doing my English paper piecing. Okay, so I hope you heard, enjoyed learning about my different types of bags that I use. We, today we talked about my project bag, my binding bag, my sew together class and retreat bag, and my English paper piecing bag. I'll have all the patterns for these bags and the supplies that I shared with you that were in them over on the blog post that you can find below. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for stopping by.